What's up Jeep people? Today I'm gonna give you my review of the Z Automotive front trail cam. Normally you would mount it right here, but what I decided to do was wire it to the back of my cargo trailer. And I'm also planning on doing the same with my camper. So, in the back of my trailer, I have a camera mounted right there. So it's shooting back behind me. And that's gonna allow me to see what's behind my Jeep because, sorry, a loud diesel truck going by here. Because, uh, regardless of how good the Jeep thinks these mirrors are, they really suck. Uh, Thor Engineering does have a Rampage adapter that makes the mirrors wider, and that does help, but I still want to see what's fully behind me. So, I have it wired up to the trailer lights, so the camera is powered off the lights. I'll go ahead and fire this up. Over here on my stock, I do have the lights on. So, what you will see is when you hit backup camera, you got an additional option here when you enable it with the Z Automotive flash tool. So, that's what's back behind me. Now, my particular camera has these lines, you can get rid of those. I'll clip that wire that's, in a, that's on there to get rid of that moving forward. But, anytime it goes into reverse, it will give you that option of what camera you wanna go. So that's the HD reverse cam on the tailgate. You can see, you can actually see my little wire here that's my AV cable that's running out there. But, you can override that when you tap the icon and it shows you what's back there. Now the quality isn't quite as good, but it is very, very usable. So I got it back in drive now, so it overrode it, and I am gonna do a little drive down the road here so you can see what I got. So once you're in and ready to go, you just hit the backup camera button, go to cargo. I'm sure you could put a shortcut for that as well, but now when you're driving down the road, you can see what's behind you. And the good thing is there's no lag from any of the video stuff. So my camera might not be perfectly aligned, that's why those lines aren't perfect there. But as you can see, it's a pretty good setup. I really like it. When it comes to running it down the road, um, the screen is actually a little bit big. Um, for some uses, if a car comes from behind you, passing really fast, it does play a little bit of a mind trick with you because it's such a big screen. But, as you can see, you can go ahead and see cars just driving right by the side of me as I'm pulled over here. You can flip back to the backup camera, make sure your tongue is latched or whatever you got there, and you go back there. It's a pretty good setup. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say it's definitely worth the, I think it's $179 for the setup from Z Automotive, and what you're gonna get is the uh, you have to have their flash tool first of all. I got the JL Mini. Um, that's the one that stays within it. It plugs into your OBD port down here. Um, but once you have that kit for another $179, they send you a camera and the wiring plugs to go into the back of the screen. And to give you a quick little idea of what it takes to do that, it's relatively easy. But you start... <laughs> by pulling this panel out right here. And basically, you can grab a hold underneath here, pull, grab here, pull. Anyway, just pull that and it pops out. Then, that's just really mostly just to route your wires. Then, if you get a tool or stick your finger once that panel's at and pull back this section, which is gonna be this entire strip here, that whole piece will pop out. Then, there is a couple screws back here that hold on this bezel. And once you pull those out, that bezel will come out and then there's four screws for the screen and that whole screen will pop out. It's not very thick, um, but what you're gonna do is take the Z Automotive wiring plug or wires that they give you. You have to plug it into a certain connector in the back of the stereo and it gives you a standard yellow AV 
connection. So I just dangled that down. It gives you enough wire to get it to about right here. It also has a cigarette plug, so if you want to power it for the front camera um, to go up on the grill, you can do that. But I plugged it in the cigarette plug, and then I just have the wires bundled underneath. So anywho, so you plug it in the back of the, the stereo, you unplug the stereo, put the two pins in where you need them, um, then put it all back together. You get an AV cable that'll dangle to about like right in this area behind the dash. Um, then you get a longer cable or the one that they chose and plug it in there and plug it in the cigarette plug and then you snap everything back together as you're routing the wires back down around here for me I ran the cable yeah, I guess you can't see it I got a bundle there but I basically dropped it down in this area and just started tucking it up underneath this trim panel I tucked it all the way across there actually I didn't put it back together quite as good as I liked but Anywho, ran it right through there, came to the back seat, just kind of stuffed the wire just in that bottom hole. And then right back here, I got a little bit lazy. I didn't, it was getting dark out, so I just ran it through the seat belt loop. Now that's not moving down there, but I ran it through this little panel here. And right behind here, I can just pop that off. Right behind here, there is a vent that goes right back here. You can just see that vent. And I just poke the AV cable through there. And then I, inside the bed of my truck, I had to open up a hole just a little ways, but poked it through there. And that's where I'm gonna keep the cable most of the time. I'll just zip tie it up to the side and it'll sit there most of the time if I'm not using anything. And then for my trailer, I just run that cable, a separate AV cable that's connected to the trailer, all the way out, run it to the trailer, um, however you want. I'd suggest putting in a waterproof enclosure so it doesn't get rusted or anything else like that, corrode the connections, that's gonna affect your video quality. But that's it, and you're all set. You got a pretty badass backup camera. And as you can see, even with just a six foot trailer, you can see down the sides, but I'll tell you what, it's nice having it back behind you. And it'll be even better once I get it going on my camper. Seven and a half, eight foot wide trailer, I'd say it'd be a must. to seeing down the side you just can't so that works out quite nice hope the idea works for you guys